Kill me! Today is errand day and shopping day. Yay! We've come into Williams to eat some breakfast before doing our shopping and running our errands. We have to grab some packages here and stuff. But we've come to the Route 66 diner. Okay, so I'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Oh, yes, no problem. Be right back. Thank you. Okay. These ones are loaded. These are the hazelnut ones. What'd you get? One egg, one, or uh, five toast, and bacon. It is. No, it's not cold. I feel warm. <laughs> they are cold because they don't know how to dress up in the uh, winter. You were hot in the truck. <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah, Y'all were um, like uh, putting the heat on. <laughs> the heat? No, oh, wait, I had the air conditioner on. Oh, that front. Did you? Yeah. I saw you did. Right. No, no, I had the air conditioner going up front. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Oh, no problem. Okay. Oh, maybe oh my god, I was just recording here and I grabbed my camera and this whole thing fell in. I had to like reach all the way down there for my camera. You didn't bring Let's see myself. She doesn't know what she's doing. Wait. First that was awkward. Yum, breakfast, pancakes, and corned beef hash. You really got into yours already, aren't you? Are you hungry? <laughs> there you go, some hash, hash brown. brown and an egg. What'd you get, Colleen? Over medium, bacon, and toast. And Scotty's doing water. Water. Yeah, very refreshing. I'm saving yeah. it. I, I need my. I need to hydrate. Okay. No, she's got jam right here. What did you say? Oh, apple butter. May jam. you may you have some jam? May I have some jam. Are you from New England area? <laughs> We've made it into Flagstaff, and we're here at Goodwill. Halloween is coming up, and we're gonna still be on the property. We might even have a dress up. Well, actually, we are gonna have a dress up. So we're gonna see if they have any costumes. I don't know what I want to be yet. Still always checking out if they have statuary, but nothing really good. I love this doggy is cute to go on a planter. Isn't that cute? <laughs> okay, well, we definitely have a full load going on here, but we have one more thing, and it's at Home Depot. I'm not sure if we really have the room for what we were going <laughs> to look for, but oh well. I don't think we do, but we'll, we'll try. You might have to sit with the tree in your lap. Maybe. It's a small oh, tree, small. Oh gosh. Oh god, Christmas is been, already been here. here before. Yes. Look at no, this. stay away from the trees, Terry. Oh, pretty. Oh, that is pretty. This one. Yeah. Oh, We've got okay. two Christmas trees in the um Yeah. I've been in the Home Depot at Christmas time with you before. Yes. <laughs> it's way too early for Christmas. Oh, that's weird. Look at he's just chilling, but he's shaking like he's... <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, all the trees are gone. Oh, except the willows. That's what we wanted to get is a willow. There's a native willow to this area. Yeah, they're willows. Oh, they're 75% off. Wow, they're really trying to get rid of the trees. Uh, <gasps> How much? Oh, that quaking aspen looks broken. Some did someone break that? Yeah. But they'll it'll grow, I think. Ugh. Mm. Yeah. So aspen and also willow. Well, they're 75% off. I mean, it's got good. good these these are good starters, right here. Right. You can actually put those into the um, ground and they'll root. But it's starting to die off because it's getting cold here. So we decided on this willow here that has the suckers at the bottom. And he's nice enough to mark this tree down to five bucks. Since the top is broken and it's dry, we're gonna give it a chance and see if it works. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, I would say we definitely can't fit any more. Oh, don't say we can't. Oh, I'm sure we could. Dodge one ton, baby. <laughs> we put a good. camper on this puppy still. Oh, that's this true. It did carry a huge okay. camper, so uh, this is nothing for kind of flip this truck. Uh-uh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm so glad we got an aspen for five dollars. Hopefully, it survives. 
It'll probably be the biggest tree on it's the property. Be the best. You know, yep. it probably will be. <laughs> we love you. We love you. Come back. Come on, Mom. Well, aspens are native to this specific area, not just northern Arizona. So it just needs to get planted. Yeah, and have it needs some, some tender love and care, love and attention. Yeah. All right, and let's go get some chow. Oh, chow. Yeah. chow time. Food. Bye, Home Depot. What? A uh, what, huh? <laughs> you have a lot of stuff back there. Oh, yeah, I'm doing Wilson with you. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Look at that big bus with a section in the middle. That thing's huge. Articulated. Thank you, Colleen. You're welcome. <laughs> We decided to go with the salad bar because they have a pretty big one with a lot, a lot of stuff, which includes the soup as well. And ice cream if you choose so. So there's my salad, looks good. Mm, cheesy bread. Okay, second go round is broccoli cheese soup, some mac and cheese, and some nuggets. Yeah, you know that feeling when you ate too much? Mm -hmm, that's where I am right now. You ready to go outside, Momo? You look all warm. Duh. Well, we've got our first layer of snow last night. I wasn't expecting that. Were you, Momo? <laughs> so, things are gonna start dying off. I need to harvest a few things before things are completely dead. It only got to 32 degrees last night. But that was for an hour, and that's usually not enough to kill it off. But look at all the snow. <laughs> Yay. Good cold morning, everyone. It is beautiful. It's nice to see the snow. Um, the forecast said it was just supposed to rain around midnight, and I heard the rain when I went to bed. But I guess at some point of the night it turned into snow. But it's just a very light covering of snow, and it should melt off today if the sun decides to come out. Oh, look at the birdhouses in the snow. How cute. Mumu, look at it. Your bed is covered in snow. Mr. Froggy's doing good. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and harvest this today. The tendril's starting to turn um, light color anyways. So it should be ready. The snow didn't seem to stick to the rock paths, but where there's mulch and the mulch paths, there's still snow. We did have 50 mile an hour gusts last night and it seemed to blow over my sunflowers. But that's about it. Oh, I need to get those tomatoes harvested. I know they don't like it. Oh, look at the garden. <laughs> yeah, everything's done. Done, done, done. Oh, someone's already been out here. There's footprints. Huh. Oh, those got knocked over with the wind too. There comes Ed. We got our first snow. Yeah, really no, look in here. It's like it just completely uh, white winterland my garden. <laughs> it's like yeah. all. This is like a little pseudo snowstorm. Yeah. Because the second, like, what, I mean, it only has to warm up another degree or two this long. Yeah, and here comes the sun already. That'll melt things off. It's already almost all melted out here. Yeah, definitely everything has just a light yeah, the dusting the of snow. Better. Should melt away. Hopefully the plants that I wanted to harvest will survive. They should. It's usually when it gets in the 20s. It's when everything completely dies off. Wow, this kale's gotten big. Huh. Yeah, there's a lot of tomatoes here. I should definitely get those off the vine. Terry made a little snowman. <laughs> oh, his his little head's falling off of there. Oh no. We're gonna put him on the bench. There you go, he's on the bench. <laughs> Turn around. Oh, my butt's wet. <laughs> Oh my, my god. Nose. 
<laughs> you gotta get gloves. I gotta warm my hand up before I can get it in the glove. It's so cold. It is so cold. I, I had to get gloves. My hands just being around the tomatoes were like <laughs> freezing. I, they got numb. I think we might have to make some uh, green tomato uh, sauce because I think they're frozen. They could, it could be. <laughs> 19 degrees. Okay, I emptied this and we're gonna get the rest of the oh. tomatoes. It's it's so cold. I it mean, is. It's just frigid out here. Here, I got a bunch down oh, here. Okay. Yeah, I we might have to make something with those. I'm not sure those are gonna be smushy when they thaw out. <laughs> are they um still on? Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Look at this whole big vine of them. It's wrapped around this post. Oh, oh, tomato stuck. Okay, there we go. Oh, thank you. Oh, there was... This is almost full. This is our second one. Wow. Oh, here's one. These are small. But, but I don't want the snow to melt. I know, I it's fun. It. I wish it would stay for, like, a day. Remember, Just... when, remember when we went up to the mountains with Dana and Steve and the kids? Oh, uh, yeah. Little tiny and house, we, and we made snowmen in the, we, or we had snow angels in the Right, and then the so kids fun. were throwing snowballs at my windshield. Yeah. <laughs> I just threw a snowball at you. Oh, yeah, that's right. You started <laughs> it. <laughs> Here, here's more. I'm a Washingtonian girl. I like snow. I miss it. I don't mind, like, a day or two of snow, but I... I don't want to live in snow. Well, that's the problem at home in Washington is that it snows and then it, it never goes, it, it's like stays and it just turns to slush. Well, because you don't have a lot of sun. Like, yeah. see, the sun's already starting to try to pop out oh. here. Holy crap, there's just so many. I know. Oh, here's some more. There's right there. Okay. Right there. Oh. Yeesh. Holy cow. Okay. All right, I think that's it, huh? Oh, I hear... What? I know, the my sunflower got, got knocked down. That wind was crazy last I know, night. it was ridiculously rocking my rig. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go put these up and then we're, I'm gonna go and I'll get the other ones. Let's warm up for a that second. That is freezing. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh my God. I have my okay. Wow, that's a lot of tomatoes. And then Ed and Sue brought over. They harvested early. The sound of snow under your feet. These are the tomatoes I have to harvest. The other ones. I forgot I had some lemon cucumbers as well. Look how big that one got it. That's how big it split at the bottom. And there's a few cucumbers here too. These are just the regular ones. Need to go and get those. I think there's a few regular cucumbers. Here's one. Need to go ahead and get that. There we go. Is there any more? Oh yeah, there's one back here. Oh, that one's not done. Well, go ahead and pull it. Uh, any more? I think that's it. Oh no, there's a big one back here. Okay. I'm using this trellis to dry my sunflowers since those ones were broken. I went ahead and just cut them the rest of the way and hung them up. So they'll just dry here. That one's still frozen. Oh no, that's seeds. Oh, it was getting cold, but that sun feels amazing. I went ahead and leaned over the sunflowers because they had the wind had blown this way. I'm gonna leave those for birds and whatever's left seed wise next season, then I'll use in the garden. But I don't wanna leave something behind just you know, because for the winter time there's not a lot for birds to find, so hopefully this will help. The sunflowers weren't the only thing that got blown over. Some of the marigolds did too. Bye Tex. Huh? Yeah, the, I'm gonna let them just completely dry on the thing. Are those seeds? The seed ones? Yeah. Good. 
Yeah, we just let them swell and dry on the po in the pod. Yeah. Oh shoot! I'm oh look There's how big that there. cucumber is. Oh, look! That's a that's a definitely good seed cucumber. Oh yeah. Yeah, that one's completely ripe. Sweet. Nice. Can you get a little oh, one there? Oh, oh Tia, I just it. got some and I, I and missed. And behind it. There's another one? Yeah. Wait. Right where? Here. Oh, nice. <laughs> They're just That's hiding. That's a good one. Oh, that is a good one. Nice. Very nice. Well, they did well for this year. Yeah, they did. For like two vines, I think. Really? That's it? Maybe I thought it was like, I thought it was one vine, but it, I'm, it, I'm thinking it might be two. Holy cow, that's a lot of food. Oh yeah, Terry built a snowman. Did you see it? It's kind of a wonky snowman. Arizona's <laughs> first snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> Terry's snowman is so cute. Look at that. It's got the little wooden arms and cinder eyeballs. And what does she use for a nose? I, I don't know what that is. It's some kind of a nut that was on the ground. Oh, oh, a peanut or something. Yeah, some kind of shell or something. <laughs> That's too cute. You yeah, text one to eat it. Aw. Don't eat the snowman, Tex. Leave the sticks alone. Oh, he just wanted the peanut and he just wants the nose. <laughs> Cork, I'm surprised your pee didn't come out as icicles. <laughs> Me too, because it's only 40 something in my van. There's no heat in there. Oh, God. What? Get some heat. Ready? Catch the snowball. Ready? <laughs> I'll see you guys driving out, Amy. As soon as I'm packing, my mom. Yeah, they're leaving today. Bye, Amy. <laughs> what? What, Cork? What? 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 You want my camera? You want my camera? You want my camera? Another thing that I want to harvest besides my pumpkin is the nasturtium because it's a natural antibiotic. And I'm going to use the leaves and flowers and make a tincture. You know, it's not that cold. The rhubarb, I'm going to just let go. It is perennial, so it'll come back next year. It did really well, but I want it to be more established because this was just its first year. Brady, get some shoes on. You got flip-flops. It's not. It's winter. It's not that cold this morning. Just, <laughs> I'm not cold. Before I get back to harvesting, I got the kettle out. I'm going to make some hot cocoa. I stopped drinking coffee. It's just it gave me, like aches and pains so switched over to hot cocoa and that doesn't affect me like that i don't use the packet i actually put cacao in there stevia and i'll put some a little bit of heavy cream with milk it's ready Oh, this is going to be so good. Now I just got to add the milk and heavy cream. Ah, so beautiful. It feels nice. I'm gonna enjoy the sun and my cup of hot cocoa and then get back to harvesting. Yep, the snow is melting. Bye! See you down the road. There goes Amy. And her sister Sue should be right behind her. Bye! There they go. We'll see them down the road. Boy, that sun feels nice. The wind is starting to pick up a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't get too strong today. And before I get back to harvesting, as some of y'all might know, I did just have my birthday party. Here's some aerial views. Oh, baby, I love your madness. It's so incredibly beautiful. Oh, you shine like gold, so selfless to all. And wild like an animal. Oh. Some would say I'm insane in the right and away, but I just love to play in your fun. 
Well, that's the last to leave for the season. There are still a few of us on the property that are going to stick around till the end. And that's Dave, Terry and Scott, Jeff, Jennifer and Jason, and myself. But most of everybody has already left, so the land is looking a bit empty. But it's nice because I can get some work done. I'm going to harvest this. I think I'm going to um, cut it at the vine. This is all gonna die back anyways. Ta-da! Beautiful. Ooh, it's cold. Clean my bottles with alcohol and dish soap, and then I sterilized them in boiling water. Just used the old jars that I had, and now I'm going to use 80 proof to make the tincture. You, usually, you can use 80 to 100 proof, and then I just have to let it sit for four to six weeks. I've got these other jars cleaned over here because I'm gonna make some refrigerator pickles. I cut up all the leaves and everything except these nasturtium flowers on the top. That way there's more surface I can absorb into the alcohol. I left a little space at the top. Just gonna cover this and put it in a dark place. And then it'll be ready in about a month, month and a half. Or whenever I get sick, when I'm on the road. Well, the snow is melted all away. Nothing left. We've gotten most all the plants in the ground. So I wanted it in the ground. There was only one plant we didn't get in. I'll show you that. It is the aspen, which I'm planting into this berm that I'm creating. Just have to extend it and continue on. But Jeff has already dug the hole. I'm going to amend it really quickly. And then we're going to get it in before the deep freeze tonight. Okay, I've got the tree in. I got this tree for $5 because it was uh, topped off accidentally. It broke. So, I'm just hoping it'll survive. If not, the roots of an aspen can live up to 800,000 years. We basically got everything put up. We just have to put these on top of each other and put the covers on everything. But other than that, I've put up all the chairs and everything I want up for the season. I'm leaving the tables out. And these benches do have to go into the shipping container.